Borada, Croeso i Caimru. Hello, welcome to Wales. This week is Language Week, and I have got something amazing to show you. Wait till you see the name of this place. It's very cool. Ready for me to show you? Now, Welsh people, please forgive me. I'm going to give this my best go. I am at a place called Clan Fair Pwingingil. Dobwell Llanticillion Go Go Goch I think that's right Llanfair Pwyngyn Gil Gwyndrobwell Llanticillion Go Go Goch Look how long that name is and it is Welsh for I'm going to take you round here show you the front because it tells you what it is Welsh for over here fascinating day out with faith in kids in Wales here we are it is the Church of Mary in the hollow of the White Hazel near the Fierce Whirlpool and the Church of Tsilio by the Red Cave. There you go. You heard it here first. Aren't languages amazing? Do you know any words in any other languages? Are you going on holiday anywhere where they speak another language? This week we are learning all about languages and today in our Bible passage, God's people the apostles were able to speak different languages because the Holy Spirit gave them the power to to be able to share the good news of Jesus with everyone from everywhere. Okay, are we ready to find out what happens with languages in Acts? Let's go. Okay, great, ready to learn about languages in Acts. We're in the book of Acts up there, there's Acts chapter 2 and we're going to read verses 1 to 4 and then we're going to hop over here to find out a little bit more on the end of the story, verse 11. Okay, so as we read God's word together, why doesn't somebody in your family pray now to ask God to help us know him better and love him more as we read his word. Okay, decide who's praying. Off you go. Pray. Brilliant. Amen. Well done. Okay. The coming of the Holy Spirit. We're talking about a special day in Pentecost when God's Spirit arrived in a brilliant way to make his arrival obvious and so that God's people, so that the apostles knew that he was with them by his Spirit to help them do the job that Jesus had given them to do. So I'm going to rewind a little bit to the end of Luke's gospel when we have Jesus' disciples they're waiting on a hill here they are and Jesus is with them they know that Jesus is alive they know that he's died to pay the price for sin they know that he's risen so that we can be forgiven they know that he's alive and they see him ascend to heaven through the clouds before their eyes here we go du, 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 du. like a real life superhero and as he goes up to heaven he tells them i want you to go into the whole world and tell everyone everywhere about me the good news about jesus's death and resurrection and that he is now in heaven ruling as king he's given them a massive mission but he tells them he's going to give them a brilliant helper to help them do it. So, how on earth will just these ordinary people, and ordinary people like me and you, how on earth are we gonna be able to spread the message of Jesus everywhere? An impossible mission? Not with the help of the Holy Spirit. It's an unstoppable mission. Here we go. The day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. So that's just what the disciples were doing. They were waiting for this helper to come and they were all gathered together in one place. And when the day of Pentecost came, suddenly a noise from heaven that sounded like a strong wind blowing. A strong wind blowing and it filled the house filled the house and even more special effects 
they saw something that looked like, don't try this at home unless you have an adult to help you, flames of fire resting on their heads. It was a special day and a special arrival so that everyone knew that this was the Holy Spirit coming as the helper to the apostles. So they were able to go out into the street and in the city, there's people from all over the world who've come for a special festival and they can hear the good news of Jesus being told to them in their own language. And we're going to look down at verse 11. They hear these men telling in our own languages about the great things that God has done. We have a great message to share. We have a great God to help us because we have great news for everyone, everywhere. Now, do you think this message is spread? Well, do you think they were speaking your language that day? Or do you think the message is spread to you and to me? into our country, into our language, that we have the Bible translated into our language to read. How good is that? The good news of Jesus is spreading today as we share with those we know about him. Great news that we need to share with others. Here are your questions. 